hey guys welcome back for another video on today's episode we're installing a lace frontal wig hey guys welcome back for another episode i'm so excited to be doing this install today as i always start out with my videos when i'm doing hair i am not a professional did not go to school have no certifications nothing like that i am just a girl that's trying to figure out how to maintain and take care of their hair and if you're a girl just like me then follow along on this journey we'll learn some things together we'll grow and we'll become professionals together bestie so though I'm not a professional, what I will add is that I always thoroughly do research to make sure that I'm educated about what it is that I'm doing. And so that way I can educate you as well and make sure that we're using proper technique to take care of our hair. Because as most of you may know, if you watch my other videos, I am on a hair growth journey. So I am not gonna mess up my hair fooling around with y'all on the internet, period. <laughs> so rest assured, we are doing healthy and safe hair care on this channel. Okay guys, so let's get into what's going on in the video, right? <laughs> So um, I wash and deep condition my hair because again, hair health is first and foremost on this channel. So we're gonna make sure we have healthy hair under our install. So after I did that, I went ahead and blow dry my hair on a low heat setting because I do not like to put a lot of heat on my hair. And of course, we always, always use a heat protector before we blow dry our hair. And of course, to make your hair more manageable, you'll go ahead and section it off, blow dry it, detangle it. I put it in some braids so that way I can work with it a little bit better when I move on to each section. After it is fully blow dry, we're gonna go ahead and put these braidless braids in our head. So if you can see, and this is the star of the video, I cannot braid guys and I definitely cannot braid with these long nails on so what I will do is section the hair and I will pull it back as far as I can and then I'll literally like box braid it or three strand twist or whatever you guys call it it's like a single braid it's not to the scalp but the hair in the front is pulled back so it kind of lays flat so these are like braidless braids okay that's just that's what i'm gonna say because they're definitely not cornrows they're not to the scalp and this is just a method i use as a person that do not know how to braid but still need the hair to be held down so yeah hopefully this helped for the girls that don't know how to braid to the scalp either just pull it back put you some little box braids in there the cap is going to take care of the rest period Alright, so after you get your braids in, you're going to push your hairline back as far as you can. <laughs> and you're going to use some spray, some got-to-be spray or some type of holding spray like a spritz or something to hold your hair back. So that way, whenever you put your cap on, the hair isn't moving around and you're not getting glue on your actual hair. After you push your hairline back, you're going to go ahead and put your cap on. And you're going to cut holes in the sides so your ear can come out so that way the cap lays flat because it's important to have a flat and neat cap to get a nice install, a nice natural look. Then of course go ahead and blow dry that gots to be on the cap so that way it will stick to your forehead and it's going to be the base that protects your actual hairline. And of course you can see these steps throughout the video but I just like to narrate a little bit so that way you'll know what the actual steps are. Go ahead and cut the excess cap off and you want to push it as far back as close to your hairline as possible. Again so that way it's given natural, the wig isn't too far front or anything like that. So this is the wig that I am going to be installing. I love the colors, the hair texture, the curl pattern on this wig. It's absolutely beautiful, y'all. So very similar to what you did to your hairline, you're gonna do to the wig hairline because again, we do not want any of the hairs to be stuck to the glue. So just go ahead and push it back and get them out of the way for the install part. 
here you see me just doing a wig fitting to see how the hair in the wig is going to lay around my hairline if I need to take any excess cap off like if it's showing if it's just not giving a natural flat lay and see the parts that I just pointed out I needed to go ahead and push those back a little bit because it was too far down for the wig hairline so that's why it's important to do a wig fitting before you actually put any glue on top of that ball cap and it's okay if you see just a little bit of the cap like how you see here because don't forget that you're going to put makeup on this so you're going to make that lace a little bit darker and make it look like skin so it's going to blend it's going to work out don't don't be scared and so because I'm not using any needle and thread this entire install, we're just going to go ahead and tie the back of the cap so that way it stays down. So that's just the way to skip having to use those extra tools um, for the install. Now you'll go ahead and apply your glue. Some people put their makeup on top of the ball cap before applying the glue. I did not. I went ahead and applied my glue. I'm going to do three layers of glue because I really want this to stick and adhere to my ball cap and my skin. And if you notice when I am putting the glue on, I'm putting some on the ball cap and I'm putting some on the skin right in front because the wig is going to lay just a little bit in front of the ball cap. So it's gonna pull your hairline down a little bit. So when you take your wig off, you might feel like you got a big forehead. Y'all, look at my chap. I love her so much. She's so beautiful. And now she got me just talking to her while I'm trying to do this install, y'all. But this is how it should look. Your glue should dry clear and you should do a couple layers. It should be a little thick but not too thick to where the lace doesn't lay flat. So you gotta be careful with it. So now we're just gonna go ahead and install the wig. And this is me noticing that the glue, the adhesive that I'm using is not, is not giving. It's not that sticky. I was trying to feel it on my fingers to see if it would get more sticky or tacky for me, but it, it wasn't. See how I was able to pull my wig back up after putting it down? It shouldn't do that. When you put your glue down those several layers, once you lay your wig, you need to be certain and confident about the position in which you're laying it because you should not be able to pull it back up and off. So you'll see that I am going to use some got to be as my adhesive to hold my wig down because I didn't have any other glue. I had literally went to the store that day to buy glue to do this install and the glue was not gluing. And I felt like something was a little off about it because when I asked her for the glue um, and she told me the price which was like ten eleven dollars I was like dang glue must have really dropped in price because I remember the last time I bought glue I paid like twenty five thirty dollars just for a bottle of glue so for it to be ten dollars that's crazy but I didn't complain only because I was like you know cheaper maybe you know the demand isn't as high you know the the production of it may have went down over time you know i'm giving all these like economical reasons why this may be you know cheaper because this is ghost bond glue um i just showed you guys the picture is ghost bond glue that i use and they're a pretty big brand i hear about them a lot in the beauty industry so i don't know it it took me aback a little bit that the glue wasn't gluing but we improvised i used the got to be spray and it worked pretty good moving on from the glue i went ahead and pulled some baby hairs out and i sprayed the gots to be around the edges and tied them down so that way it can lay flat and i pulled out my hot comb to go ahead and define my part and then i put a little bit of makeup on the part so that way it can blend in and look a little bit more like my skin tone so it'll give more scalp and then we're just going to go ahead and style the wig. So because this is a curly wig, like a water wave style wig, I'm just gonna use some mousse and water to get the wig to kind of like activate, get the curls to start popping. And then we'll just comb it through and that's gonna be the style that I choose to go with. But because it's a frontal wig, I can switch it up do maybe like some braids or a different side part or something like that but just for the first couple days I'm gonna do a middle part so 
so let's see what the adhesive is hitting for and how the hairline looks now it came out looking pretty good and it stayed down really well so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess lace so when cutting the lace you want to go in a zigzag pattern so that way it blends in more with your skin tone and doesn't look just like a straight line going across your face and when cutting the excess lace off you want to go as far up as the adhesive goes so you want to cut anything that's not glued down And it's okay to go around your edges and do a little bit of cleaning up for the extra glue. This glue was not a good glue, y'all. So, yeah. I'm just using some rubbing alcohol because it gets the glue off really easy. But be careful not to go too far up because it'll take the adhesive off that you want to keep also. So, because I had to use got to be spray for my adhesive, I use a double melt method. So, I just part the hair went back a little bit sprayed it and tied it down again so it'll have like an extra layer of glue and adhesive to hold it down then you'll just put your makeup on to make the lace blend in um i did pull down baby hairs guys but then i kind of decided against having baby hairs because i just wanted a clean hairline look so i just went ahead and put some mousse and water on those to get them to curl up too and because I love for my wigs to give like those frontal melt looks, I like to push the um, push the hair back whenever I'm combing it so you can actually see the lace. Then we're just gonna take our hot comb and give it some touch-ups and I'm gonna be finished with it, honestly, guys. <laughs> this was my first time ever installing a frontal wig and I feel like I did a really good job um, I've always been like really scared or skeptical about doing them because I, I just hate the thought of buying a new wig for a couple hundred dollars and like messing it up. But in order for me to learn, I have to take risks. So it's the next day y'all and I did add some baby hairs to the wig. I was going for those big fluffy dramatic not stuck to your you know skin type of baby hairs and i feel like i feel like i did a decent job achieving that you know not being a professional not being a hairstylist not being someone that does hair period i don't do hair i do have a daughter but like literally since she's been a little girl my sister has always done her hair i just never got on the hair doing train i'm trying to a little bit only because I'm trying to save some money like <laughs> the installs are getting more and more expensive i mean everything is getting more expensive let's just be real my rent done went up my car insurance done went up my light bill went up like so many things have gone up to where i'm just like i need to find some ways to cut back and i've always been really big on like not cutting back necessarily just making more money you still have to be reasonable with your expenses regardless of how much money you're making i'm still going to get services rendered this is just you know this is just so i don't have to do it every single time so um i'm practicing and i installed the wig i did the baby hairs the wig has now been on for like three days and i worked out every single day since having this wig on and it has not moved i've been sweating and everything and still here still look good um the hair the hair is really pretty i like the texture it looks really natural um i ended up getting this hair from um from this girl that i knew from school i think she is starting a new hair company she's gonna be starting selling hair maybe i will be one of her ambassadors and give you guys some like discount codes and things like that we'll see but yeah this is the look guys like i think it came out cute it's, it's giving and you know um the color was perfect i wasn't even looking for this wig y'all i was actually looking for like some long black hair but um when she sent me this i couldn't pass it up like 
I like these colors on me. And then, you know, this weekend starts autumn. So I'm really excited about that. Autumn is my favorite time of year. I love these colors, these clothes. Like, I'm already in it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Holidays are coming. I'm excited to spend time with my friends and family. I'm a little too excited. I can't even talk right now. But yeah, I just wanted to wrap this video up for you guys. Show you guys the hair, how I styled it. Now, it is a full frontal wig, so you know, I can do some different styles. I think I'm gonna try to put like a braid in it or something like that. But for right now, this is just how I styled it, you know? And I think I think it's pretty cute. I think it, I think I did a pretty good job. I think the lace looks pretty good. Maybe the part could have been a little bit more defined. Um, and for me to not have no like not to know how to braid and literally could not braid. Y'all see, I pulled I literally pulled the hair back and like basically um uh, basically um three strand twisted that shit because. It was not to the scalp. I cannot braid, and I especially can't braid with these nails on. I'm glad I said something about my nails. So check out my nails. They're really cute. They're by my usual artist. Um, if you check out my, if you check out, um, if you go look at my videos, you'll see I did a nail self care day, and I tagged all of her information. And if you look in the community, you'll see her information there as well. Um, but I wanted to say because I posted in the community, and I asked you guys to guess how long my nails are. Did I say how long my nails are? Or how long it took to get my nails done? That's funny though, because either way the answer is the same. So whether it was how long my nails are or, or how long it took to get my nails done, the answer is three and a half. Three and a half inches is how long my nails are. Three and a half hours is how long it took to get it done too. So, that's the answer to the community question. I wanted to make sure I put that in there for you guys also. But yeah, guys, that's all for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed the install and the style. Hope you guys learned some tips or tricks for those of you that cannot braid because I can't either. But you can still get your wigs to lay flat and look good without like really knowing how to braid. You could just pull that thing on back and put your little box braids in there and hold it down. And then the cap is kind of going to take care of the rest for you. So, yeah. Hopefully, you learned some tips and tricks that can help you out with your install. If you guys want to send me wigs so I can install them on my sub and or shout out your wig brand, you can definitely hit up the email down in my description. It is ShantaeLeeYT at gmail.com. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can stay in tune with me make sure you're checking the community because i do post there also thank you guys for so much for tuning in i love you so much bye guys